Hello everyone! Oh my god! It's fucking Final Longinus! Is this crazy? It's pretty crazy. Um, I'm going to start off by apologizing that this has taken so fucking long to come out, and on top of that, I would like to also apologize because there might be some weird fucking just residual humming noises in the background. I am now recording this from a familiar place. If anybody's seen the Breath of the Wild Let's Play, Jesus Christ, there was a giant chunk of that Let's Play where I had to come back from my apartment in the mm. summertime to my parents' nice place. To not have to kill anything. It is, isn't it? I haven't killed anything for fucking months, though, because I haven't played this game. So I'm probably a little rusty. Um, but I'm now recording this in my parents' basement. Ha ha, he's fucking recorded from his parents' basement. What a loser. Thing is, I don't have anywhere else to record right now. I no longer pretty much own an apartment, sort of. I mean, <laughs> I, I kind of own it. I'm still on lease for like two months, but I'm back at my parents' place for a good long while. So this is where I'm recording from. Hopefully the sound doesn't sound too fucking bad. And if it does, I will correct it for future episodes. Epi now, what you guys might not um, know is that I've actually started a discord since then i will provide the discord link in the description below if anybody wants to join we do we do not bite please join us dear god we could just chat i come in there sometimes and i talk um episodes are now 30 minutes long um that's the only way that this could be done i'm sorry for that which is kind of shitty because i'm rambling but i need to get all this out of the way and since i've last recorded I have decided that I am just going to truck along with the story, and I actually talked to some veterans of the series that are following this this Let's Play uh, quite thoroughly, and they have told me several pro tips. What are you talking about, Gladiolus? Just by yourself. God, I love talking to the air. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I've talked to some uh, some fan favorite uh, fan fair. I've talked to some fucking fans about what the balls to do. Um, in the future, so I, I have a rough idea of how to steer the direction of this, but as soon as I go on this fucking boat, we ain't coming back, I guess? So, uh, kinda sad, but, uh, sure. But, ride? Ride? Is this how to ride? Ride. Once you depart, you will lose access to the open world for a while, and rental chocobos will automatically return to the post. Set sail for Altisha! <gasps> yes! Set and sail with the bars, baby! Let's go! What the fuck just barked? Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, boy, wanna take a sip of my fucking noodle head? Okay. Oh, you spawned a book from your back once again. It has been a bit, but I still remember the story. Like, that should be stated. Waiting for you and Altisha. Jesus Christ, his fucking eyes are demonic. Um, yeah, uh, fucking ready to set sail. I guess! I guess! It feels weird because I feel like I'm betraying, like, a past Bryson. A Bryson that wanted to complete everything before heading out. This is just the way I have to do this. There is a Let's Play that's coming after this that will take this slot that I feel like everybody that likes this Let's Play will like, and I feel like a lot of people already understand. So I do want to accelerate this Let's Play. I know that sounds shitty, um, but to be fair, once this Let's Play gets out of a Let's Play slot, I will still be doing live streams of a lot of the stuff that I miss. Like, hours and hours worth of live streams. So, once this Let's Play's over, this Let's Play's really not over. Where am I going? Oh, Altisha's hell! Going to hell with the boys? Sup, dude? Oh, oh, it's little Baxter, whatever the fuck his name is. Baxter, how have you been, dude? Look, Prince Octus, even the Marshal came to say goodbye. Marshal Mathers? Let's pretend he never picked up a pen, all right? What's up, girl? How you doing? I guess it's goodbye for now. Want a snug? Want a kiss? <laughs> probably can't do that for any brother. He would kill me, probably. And also, you would like it too much. Oh! My favorite book! Cosmogony! Cosmogony! O'er ratted soil, under blighted sky, a dread plague, the wicked has wrought in the light of the gods, sworn, sworn, sworn at his side, against the dark, that king's battle is fought, from the heavens high to the blessed below, shines the beam of a peace long besought, long live thy line in this stone divine, for the night when all comes to naught. 15 colon 2 Nadir. Well, that was great. I'm pretty sure you guys have told me to read those books. I did, and I did not understand what the fuck was going on. Oh my so god, it's boys from chest. long past. What's that? 
I'm sorry. Sorry I wasn't there for your father. But neither was my left nut, so... I swore an oath to protect the king, but I wasn't strong enough to uphold it. <sighs> what if Noctis just punches him? Ain't nothing nobody could have done to stop Ain't what nobody happened. got time for that. Yeah. I realize that. Ah, Noctis. But you need to realize just what you mean to the boys by your side. They all love you in more ways than one. <laughs> Even if they can't solve your problems, you can't hide what's going on from them. It hurts like hell. Remember, those ain't your bodyguards. They're your brothers. Trust in them, always. You got it, old man. Whoa, he was raptured! Is Core still here? Oh yeah, he is. Fuck, was it really his time? That was it, huh? In the Final Fantasy world, I'm not sure if you guys know, but when it, when people die in the Final Fantasy world, they fucking glimmer. They glimmer away. Kind of like fucking Mr. Mr. Stark, I don't feel too well. Yup. Sorry. <laughs> Is that a spoiler anymore? Probably not. I've not seen the movie and I don't even know who the fuck says it, so no, it's not a spoiler. What is this? It's the fucking book, Bryson. Christ. Christson. What's up, dude? How you doing? What? Oh, I thought that was- You can never have too many man. tools. Here, learn to wield not only weapons, but magic as well. Magic flask. Gee, thanks, dude. I once found one on the side of the road, so that shows how much you give a fuck about me. Dude, this is a fucking rad boat. I like this. Yeah, of course there's a fucking hidden item. Mine! Hi, Potion, how you doing? I'm not just- <laughs> It's funny. Yeah, how the fuck am I- Oh. Talk to the boat! Hi, Bodie! Waiting for how an you invitation? Get Wait, your whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, he's in the boat! Somehow Mr. Fucking Old Man made the long jump toward the boat. Jesus Christ. She just hey, slapped him on the back? What's up? Please. Can I come with you? Oh, fuck! We need our king! <laughs> yeah, count on it. For every noodle in my head, I swear I'll be back! Seaworthy, baby! This ship is seaworthy. Goodbye, little fucking Baxter Baxter. That's a rabbit. Oh, we're leveling! Level me! Uh. I forgot how weak 1,000 experience is. In fact, it says right there, motherfucking Gladiolus needs 11,000 still. So, wow, that barely dented it. Good job. I walked towards a boat and I long jumped to it. Which is brilliant. Oh, it's good. Oh, I forgot that we take pictures. Christ. Oh my God. Is this my good side? Are you getting the good C-U-P nudes? Jesus Christ. Aw, oh, that's nice. Why is it that is Core? Oh, Core's the little dude in the hat. And then there's like Nico Bellic off to the side that we don't even fucking know about before he took off for GTA 4. That's, who the fuck is that? Who's that? Who's that? She was never there. Oh, fuck. I'm, I'm a little scared. <laughs> who the, Prompto, you weren't even on the top deck, you fuck. I saw it, you bastard. In the Navy, up, 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 in the Navy, up, up. we're not even sailing, what the fuck? Are those the words? Well, the words the aren't but, 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 so... But alas, not. without the bride. Of course, we've come for the Hydrian, and you've gone to such lengths to prepare. Merely my duty. Ah, but for an outsider to lead the Imperial Army must be a battle in and of itself. You've spoken to Lady Luna Freya. The fuck no, did you say to that me? Obstinate secretary, standing in the way, while you rush off to slay the Hydrian for your poor sister's sake. I know the price of the Covenant. 
And I'll exchange that information for a comb. In the Navy! I've always wanted to go sailing like this. Not many opportunities living in insomnia. Out here, it's just us and the horizon. It's amazing. It's life changing. Well, it's pretty great. It's to go until we reach Altisha, so keep gushing to your heart's content. When we step off the boat, we'll be in a foreign country. The anticipation alone is a foreign sensation. And to think this is where we were headed to begin with. We've been through a lot, and there's still more to come. So next on the docket is Leviathan. What sort of deity are we dealing with? A serpent said to embody the roar and rage of the sea. We'll have to see for ourselves. Can't let Lady Luna Freya do all the heavy lifting. You must be so psyched to see her. Luna? Yeah. Oh, I can well, control it. We need to make sure she's alright before anything else. Indeed. Her well-being oh, is top priority. Don't like this going down on Imperial turf. You think Lady Luna Freya's in danger there? The Empire did invade Lucis for the ring. I have no faith their ruthless ambitions will stop short of harming the Oracle. Without the ring, the crystal's no more than a rock. Hmm. I suppose. A Dwayne Does the Rock! Know how Lady Aye. Luna Freya came to have the ring? It seems likely His Majesty entrusted it to her safekeeping back at the Crown City. So she's held on to it this whole time, all the way to Altitia. The ring is important, and so is Leviathan. But Luna comes first. You know, I was thinking back to our encounter with Ravus. Hmm. Do you recall an apparatus in place of his arm? Yeah, I remember. Seems he lost his old one in the invasion. But in its place, he seems to have acquired new power. Power? That would help explain how a son of Tenebrae suddenly came to command Niflheim's army. Now that you mention it, his strength did seem sort of... Supernatural. I just chalked it up to the Oracle lineage. His ancestry may be part of it, but that alone wouldn't account for his freakish strength. I wonder what could have happened to him. There's a disturbing rumor about. Lord Ravus has taken to brandishing his majesty's sword. My dad's. Then what's the big idea behind that? That his power's the same as the power of kings? I cannot say for sure, but I have my doubts. Ravus wears the sword, yet doesn't wield it. Hm. For all his newfound powers, he's still the Chancellor's lapdog, holding on to the enemy king's sword like some badge of honor. It might help if we knew what he was after. Who can say? What are the odds the Empire will crash the pool party with Leviathan? Consider it a guarantee. They failed a god to prevent Noct from receiving his blessing. They'll do so again. But we beat him to the big guy. Thanks to our friendly guide. Never know which way that one's gonna move next. And the Chancellor has an agenda all his own. Sometimes it helps. Like when he called off his army and let us escape. But he was still a creep about it. Well, it feels like he's only helping us because he wants something. I just don't know what. Reckon we'll see him again? Certainly hope not. Not your type? No love lost for phonies. As Gladio said, his actions are motivated not by altruism, but by self-interest. And when he does come to our aid, I see only condescension in his eyes. Yeah, can't argue with that. Ever think you think too much? Sometimes, but it's always preferable to the alternative. So, soon you'll have your old man's ring back. Oh yeah, I forgot you were here, we old guy. Sure. Well, he's Good piloting day. it. To him, it was his heritage. Is that what my dad said? Carrying a royal line ain't a task to be taken lightly. For a small thing, that ring can sure weigh heavy. After he became king, I only ever saw his face in the paper. Wait, weren't you at the coronation? No, I was long gone from the city. You must have been invited at least. Had a fallen out of sorts with your old man, right at the end of the trip. You did? I was given to understand you stayed in touch. We buried the hatchet years later, but never talked face to face again. Should have paid a visit while I had the chance. Well, no use dwelling on it now.
Got the regalia in the hold, but you're all gonna stay in Altitia for a good while, right? Yes. We believe so. In that case, I'll tune her up for y'all. Not that I'll have much to do, though. <laughs> well, with Cindy looking after the old girl. If you say she's good, she must be great. She was never afraid of hard work. Heaven knows she had a hard childhood. A hard childhood? He means her parents. Lost them both when she was little. It was big enough to understand, though. And to hurt. But you wouldn't guess that, seeing her now. Not at all. She's always so cheerful. Well, that ought to tell you how far she's come. Now you must have seen your fair share of Altisha by now. Yeah. Only done been the once. Stayed a good while, though. What's it like? Big old city. Big. Okay. Well, it ain't the crown city. Different. Got it. You'll see for yourself. Foreign lands seldom lend themselves to trite explanations. Change the scenery ought to do you good. Well, I'm all talked out. Can't be far to Altisha now, right? We'll be there in no time. We'll be nice. there at 1.64 miles. Lodgings are a first order of business. Our work in Lodgingsness. Makes it miss a dog boy. Someone has to babysit me too. So you're welcome to sleep in the wild. Ain't no hotel, but I know a fella has a place. Hey now. West Galsta. Get the Reggie game on. <laughs> Go play, when. maybe. I don't know. Oh, was he the other one in that photo with the garage? Yeah. Oh, Run Nico! A diner or a cafe or something. Go and see it's your cousin! Sure. Let's go bowling. Does the place have a name? McGee or Magoo or uh, Mago. That's the one. Nice. You can count on You sure? <laughs> awfully close to the rocks there, You're old man. Two Jesus. years off. The government issued a statement promising that the reasons behind awakening the Hydra would be clarified in the ceremonial address. Got a signal. Delivering the address will be Lady Luna Freya, who was previously reported dead. This will mark her first public appearance since the violence that befell the signing ceremony. Lady Luna Freya's gonna give a speech? Sounds like it. Lord knows. This world could use some wisdom. Won't be much longer now, Noct. Yeah. Whoa! This is cool! What the fuck? This is kind of fucking ridiculous. <laughs> I love this. This is actually something that's uh, interesting, is that you guys were talking, I was talking to some of you guys in Discord about um, Final Fantasy's world this time around in 15 seems less fantasy-like. But like, this is neat. Does this vessel have an entry permit? No! Shoots him. Uh, entry permit? Relax, I got one. <laughs> Relax, here. I got one right here. Plunges That's a knife as old in his chest. As they get. Seems in order. You may pass. Well, fuck you too, you fucking jackass. Fucking border patrol, even in Altisha. Chase. Could say that. Thirty odd years ago. This is fucking That's nuts. That's what I meant by old. Lucky us, huh? That could have ended badly. Jesus! This is really fucking sweet! I like this. I like this. Like, out of all of the places that we've seen in this- Whoa, old man, that's a waterfall, you dumb fuck! Oh my god, you're gonna kill us. What are you doing? Jesus. Oh my god, this boat is a fucking colossus compared to half of these other ones. This is sweet! It's like fucking Assassin's Creed! Except more fantasy-like. Over oh, here. Well, la de motherfucking da, baby. Sick. First thing we do when we get here is look at some fucking boards. Ch Chaloon? Chalo Saluna? Saluna Cascades and Gourmet Tour. I'll tell you. The city offers a wealth of dining options. Many restaurants serve fresh seafood straight from their port, preparing it with their own unique methods and seasonings. Try a few places and find your favorite, or don't, because Ignis will eventually just find all the recipes and overtake all of the restaurants because he knows literally everything. This is nice, man. I like this. This is very Venice, but also fantasy-like. 
Venice fantasy with the boys. Excuse the fuck it. Excuse me. Excuse me. Jesus. It's a one person walkway, Ignis. Find a new recipe somewhere else. You What's fuck. next? Immigration? What do you mean? There's still more? Really? You gotta go through all the fucking steps, baby. Now you see, if I tap my thumb just like this, it'll get swollen eventually. Jesus Christ. Hello? Is this immigration? Oh no, it's Shambana Salabiata. Duh. What's up, dude? Shambana so, Salabiata to you. Purpose oh, of your visit. Purpose. Uh. Purpose. Uh. I'm here to slay gods or something. I don't know. Uh, it's fucking. Uh, leave it to Sid. Sid, it's all yours. Hey, didn't we just? <sighs> well, we're here to visit uh, a joint. Maga. We're here to Maga smoke Maga a joint. Thing. Yeah. Never heard of it. Unless you're referring to the alternate entry program. In which case, you may pay the levy directly to me. This amount should suffice. <laughs> we reveal that he's only flashing his elderly man oh, kit. What a racket. This is your trip. You cough up the cash. You fuck with me? 3,000 kill? <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Ladies. Oh, that was a sick board, dude. What are we- You wanna Hello. check Wescombe's place out? Yeah, let's all go to Mago. Perhaps we'll even make it in time for tea. And we'd better start looking now. You seen some shit- Oh my god, did you see Ignis? What are you looking at? Oh, you respect so, a woman in jeans as well, Ignis. Me An too. Estranged friend of the king. Not. Oh. you ever meet oh. him? Are you lost, woman? Please. How about the cafe? He checks you out. That doesn't mean he wants to come for you for dinner. Come for you for what the fuck did that sentence? Uh, uh, gondolas. The gondola of Altisha run along the city's many waterways, with stops located near major attractions such as Lisdro Park and Arena Galviano. They are a great choice for tourists. Plus, the elevated waterways offer spectacular views of the city that should not be missed. Can I take one gondola, sir? One of them. Oh, I'm sorry. Ifid Turistico Nicodipatisha. Please. Oh, hello? Okay, you sold us. Let's move on. God, this lady is still just lost. You see this, Noct? What about it? Dog, I just fucking read this. If you're gonna talk about the gondolas, it's gondolas. Doesn't rub shoulders with the empire by choice. Wanna, knows wanna talk? Wanna talk? Maybe she can ally about the gon with gondolas? Wanna what? talk about them? No? Okay. Say it with flowers. Include a card to make sure they get the message. Yeah, okay. <laughs> hey, Ignis, buy some flowers and give it to that jeaned woman and ask her to please stay out of your bubble. Oh my god. This is nice. Is this? Oh Jesus! You know what this actually reminds me of vaguely is The Witcher Three, like some of the the, the towns in The Witcher. Not necessarily this fantasy like, although I did not finish The Witcher, so it's very possible that it does get this fantasy like. Excuse me, in my bubble, thanks. But yeah, the the, the Witcher has like sprawling landscapes just like this. That's really cool. What's up with this? Uh, gelati, gelia, god, not the cup, boop, that boop, boop, the apple gelato. <laughs> That was pretty much the too long didn't read version. Uh, okay. Oh Jesus! You know what? I'm gonna <gasps> what? Extending the exhibit for Lady Lunafreya's wedding dress. <gasps> the Vivian Westwood. But wasn't that a memorial for her passing? Well, now it's a memorial for her safe return. Let's go see it while we still can. Oh, could that be the dress we read about in the papers? Doubtless. The designer's name is the same. Want to check it out? That depends on the groom. Might still be a sore spot. What with his wedding getting called off. Who says we can't call it back on? It can still happen. True enough. Let's keep an eye out for it. I'm in! I'll try on that dress, and god damn if the guy that's suiting me up tells me I need to remove my cup head. Because I'll not do that. I'm going with fucking wedding dress and a fucking cup head for the rest of the game. That's just the way it's gonna work. He just stood there, staring at the church and looking all sad. Can you blame him? His sister was supposed to get married there. 
But he knew what was going to happen that day. He could have at least warned her. Well, what if he wanted to but couldn't? He must be eating him up inside. What the f- What? Are we talking about the same wedding? Like Luna Freya? Hello, boys. Feel free to browse at your leisure. Okay. Thanks, ma'am. You are just the sweetest old lady I have ever seen. Well, you're like a half old. You're getting there. Sorry, is that rude? That's probably really fucking rude to say in real life. <laughs> ah, you're half old. You're getting there, ma'am. You're getting up there. Your expiry date is just starting to show. Um, yeah, I don't probably need any of this. Do I? Do I? Do I? I don't think I do. Maybe I should really fucking get some better shit. Cause like accessories is a slot that I've really not paid attention to. Let me uh let me give this a quick skim over and I'll get back to you guys if I actually change anything. Yeah, I actually only have 6,000 gil, but there seriously is room for improvement. Like this this item right here enhances strength 40 compared to the one that Gladiolus is already wearing that enhances strength 30. So it's like it, why not fucking get it? Well, I'll tell you why not. I am in a new area and I only have six thousand dollars. Yeah, I mean you rounded it up. Sometime. That's like seven thousand, but still, that's not a whole lot. Dude, this is rad. Sup, dude? Oh, this guy's playing a cajon! I totally feel the same way. They say that thing's got like superpowers. The Empire makes some sick stuff. We're all like congested in one little ball here, folks. Oh. Jesus. Altisha doesn't understand the bubble concept, you know? Anyway, have a cojones day. Is that a saying? No? Okay, that's embarrassing. Uh, up the stairs? Up the stairs? Yeah, hold on, hold on. I'm exploring, Christ. Give me some time to explore Fantasy Venice. This is really pretty. Can I dip my feeties in? That's disappointing. It's kind of like Delfino Plaza. Also, okay, you know what? This is actually... Oh, I'm gonna piss off so many people. You, well, not really. You guys gotta so fucking see the comparison here. This, above all else, reminds me of that fucking area. <laughs> like the hub world in is Sonic 06. Time flies when you're having fun. And also traveling for the majority of the day. God, is there gonna be a side quest where we have to go shut off fucking steam valves around this part too? What's up, boys? I just feel like there's no point in going into work anymore. Like I'm not welcome. Ah, uh, you're overthinking it. Come on, let's go somewhere you're always welcome. Yeah, Mago sounds nice. Excuse me, where is Mago? Actually, it's the fucking indicator. Yeah, I'm getting there. Everybody's trying to be like subtly point me towards Mago. Like, hey, you hear Mago? It's pretty nice. If you go there, you got free back rubs. Guys, I'll do- wait, what's this? Something I didn't check. Maruza Street. Oh god, I fucking love Maruza Street. Excuse the fuck out of me, boys. Coming through. Christ in a hammock. God, that water still does that weird thing. Oh, there's fishing here. What the fuck can I catch here? Really so strong fucking swole fish. Yeah, but there's something lonely about it too. I guess. What the fuck are you on about, dude? Is it because it's really romantic and you wish you had somebody that's, you know, a woman? Pfft. I'll be your woman tonight, baby. Nocti prompto. D d d d fucking shipping. <laughs> for fuck's sake, there's actually a name for that. Um, oh. You guys still haven't left? Oh, one of your boys left! That's disappointing. He went off to Mago, and the other boys are like, well, you should really be getting off to Mago. I mean, Jeremy's already left, but fuck. God, fuck Jeremy. Let's just, let's give him a little time to get to Mago, and then we'll go in, and we won't try to make it. Oh, Jeremy. This is Jeremy, isn't it? Is this Mago? You made it, dude. Congrats. That fucking model probably walks around here a bunch, though. I could cry. Yeah. I could cry. What? Okay, when, there, when there's something actually relevant, it comes up in a subtitle. Wow, you guys get around. The Traveling Cajonas, boys. I love that band. And this is a dead end. Oh my god, it's a gondola. Hello. If I could emote, I would wave. But instead, I'll just stare ominously as if I'm planning to fucking blow your gondola up. I love these little barber pole things. Sorry, I know that this is like one of the most underwhelming episodes, but this is the return of the series nice and I am really interested in, uh, shut up saying that line, I will kill you. Then I will have to fucking kill something because I'll be killing you. Yeah, but this is, this is a new area and I'm really excited about this place. I just want to explore it. Excuse me, going through. Don't want to bump hips with any, oh, Noctis really does not want to bump hips. That boy will fucking weave out of the way. If it, if it means he's not gonna bump a hip, he will fucking dodge. 
What's this way? This looks like a little inlet. Oh! Always check the inlets. You'll find rare huh. coin. What? You say something? Fuck off then. <laughs> All of the boys and their little grumbles. Yeah, I can see that this is kind of filtering me all one way. Like, I could I could really explore as much as I can, but it's all going to lead me to the one destination that I need to be at. There's a lot of fucking the gelato stations. The door should be up these stairs. It's farther than I thought. Just climb the stairs, Christ! The I can eat a horse. Please don't! Also, do horses even exist? I could eat a chocobo. Mmm, <laughs> put some seasoning on that bad boy. Mmm. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> what do you think chocobos taste like? Chicken? Sorry, am I making everybody else cry? Yep, I'm crying. This is a bad conversation. Yeah. Oh, Laundriolus knows where the fuck to go. You really want to see that dress, huh? It's my dress! I'm gonna get in it first, you fuck! It was my wife! But it was soon to be bride. Anyway, up. Oh, excuse me. Pick that up. So, Thank you. I want to go see the dress, thanks for asking. <laughs> Definitely not direct towards me, but- ah, oh, What the fuck? I can't hey, even get in here? For a bite. Did you see that over there, Noct? What about it? Uh, yeah, what- what are we looking at? Is this another gondola pamphlet? Excuse me. Uh, Arena Galviano? Towering Arena Galviano dominates the city center, and the convenient gondola service stops right in front of the Coliseum. Try your hand at Tato Mostro by picking the winners in epic monster versus monster clashes. But remember to purchase Galviano medals before you play. Could you point us to the shop with Lady Lunafreya's dress? Just follow this road towards the Secretary's estate, then brace yourself for the insane crowds. Oh, <laughs> you got well, it. I guess that's to be expected. Thank you. I mean, we're ultimately She's heading big towards... Deal. Big? Think you mean huge? You truly get the sense. Wow. Big? No. Huge. There's a difference, but only slightly. What's this? It's more motherfucking Flavor food. Day is... You can't just leave me oh, hanging. the dress is so beautiful. I want mine to be like that. You're not and even looking at him. be my love. As surely as I am your Prince Noctis. <laughs> Looks like the prince has a following as well. Somebody yeah, once Before called us, my name when talking to their wife, and now they can see that I'm wearing cup noodles on my head, and it actually makes it look like the comparison that you made is invalid because I'm wearing fucking what noodles on my head. Crowd. Are you I joking? There's dress. literally nobody here. There's wow. one guy! Hell of a crowd! <laughs> Everyone looks so happy. And it's all because of this one dress. Yeah. Real glad for you that Lady Luna Freya is safe and sound. Yeah. <laughs> Scoff. Well, that settles it. You gotta make it happen. Become a symbol of the peace. After we tie up all the loose ends, let's think about the ceremony. A fine idea. Wow, Luna Freya, you yeah. look a little bit more like wood I'll than usual. That. Jesus. As beautiful as the day I met you, Lady Luna Freya. Uh, sorry to... Spinning a yarn V. v spinning a yarn v. v. V for Vendetta? I don't fucking... Yeah, I don't know. Question. What are we eating? The dress! Mmm! That's it for this episode. <laughs> Um, I do have to make episodes shorter. Um, I did explain this before, but the episodes are being cut shorter because from the place that I am uploading, this will take fucking forever to upload, so that's just gonna be the way it is. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this episode, please give it a like. If you guys want to subscribe to follow the remainder of Let's Play, please do so. Come back next time for when we season up Lady Luna Freya's dress, throw it on the barbecue, and eat the fuck out of this dress.